is my first season. Um, it's been different because of the shortened season and the fact that we're swimming in February and not August. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been fast, mm -hmm. eight weeks instead of three months. It's been a challenge trying to make sure that we keep our social distancing. Mm -hmm. There have been some perks to it though. Everyone's working very hard because this is something that they get to do and it feels good to get to do it. The other perk is we're all a lot more flexible and a lot more accommodating and a lot more grace giving. teammates. Our meets aren't as large. It's just much more difficult now. And swimming is enforcing my safety by making sure that we are social distanced and that we have good and efficient masks and that we wear them as much as possible. My goals for the swim season are to beat district times and to not stress and just have fun. Some challenges of being in a sports team during COVID is having to wear masks, not being able to use locker rooms, and not being able to bond with our teammates as much. It is difficult keeping up swim and school work because most of my classes are earlier in the day. My overall experience in the sports season has been really chill. Like swimming this year has been way less stressful and more relaxed. COVID has given me a new appreciation for everyday things. It's made me realize that uh, little things are very important, such as just like being with friends and being able to just do small things. You know, we just gotta keep it up, so yeah. Recently, I met with Jason Finley, coach of the Eagles from the Little League of Self Sound Baseball, who strives to promote a strong sense of community and self. Here is Jason's perspective on COVID affecting baseball in the last year. My name is Jason Finley, and I coach baseball. And it's, I just think it's a great sport to learn how to catch, run, throw, and a lot of other athletic uh, ways to express your athleticism. COVID came around and then we just had to stop. And uh, last year they tried to put a baseball season together. We canceled the spring season for 2020 and then they tried to do fall ball for 2020 in a team meeting at the end of practice. I have to be very aware of how close everybody is. Sometimes when you're coaching and you have a mask, you, you, you want to pull it down so people can hear what you're saying. It was difficult on the team, it was difficult on me. So those are some things I miss, is just not having to think about all the COVID stuff. Let's just play baseball. And this is Emerson Hennessy reporting for The Howler. This is Brendan Price reporting for The Howler. Today, we are interviewing Chad Bennett, a freshman on the football team. I grew up in Tumwater and I, I, <laughs> I was born here. Um, sports are different because you have to wear a mask. We're all six feet, of, six feet apart, quarterback, and because I can throw a ball, I guess. Uh, I wear number nine. <laughs> I was just given that number. Um, there's a lot more upperclassmen. I encourage them on the field. And we practice at three, and our games are on Saturdays. This was Brendan Price reporting for the Hound. Thank you for watching my interview, and have a good rest of your day.